Well, hey guys, welcome back. Okay, today's gonna be a really big day, uh, so let's jump right into it. But before we do, I just wanted to say I really enjoy um, dropping down in the comments section with you guys, but I can only do it on Saturdays and Sundays. The rest of the time, I'm either running around in the hills, uh, reconning new locations, filming new locations, or um, I'm at my desk editing. Um, so yeah, uh, Saturdays and Sundays, those are the days. Drop down in there, ask me a question, uh, send me a comment, I really appreciate it. Okay, we are in a uh, really interesting area here. Large waste rock piles. There's a huge one here at Old Bob. There's another big one over in the, in the valley right next to me, and a third one over on the, uh, what would be what, the uh, east side of this hill. So when I saw this on Google Earth, I said to myself, I just, I have to know where all of this uh, waste rock came from. And I think at the portal is just right up the hill a little bit. So let's gear up, we'll head up to the portal and see what this one's all about. Okay guys, let me show you what we're getting ourselves into here. We're gonna start off with this one. Yeah, a little bit of a, a little bit of a hike. Um, I did find what I believe to be is the main haulage at it that goes directly to that large waste rock pile uh, over there by Old Bob. Um, it's a bit weathered on the outside, but I think I can skinny down into it. But I wanted to hike further up on the hill and start here with what I believe is going to be a bunch of stopes. We're going to definitely be finding ore passes as they pass the ore from these stopes down into the haulage at it and out. I suspect we'd find that in here. And uh, we should find some, some really interesting geology. I haven't quite figured out what they were mining. This place was known for a lot of uh, lead, zinc, um, some silver, some gold, so it could be a mixture of many different things. I don't know, we'll just have to get inside and find out. By the way that this thing is dipping down this direction, we could be quite possibly here headed, uh, headed into a, uh, a syncline with a, um, uh, what do they call that? A uh, strike, the strike's running this direction and a dip at about 60 to 70 degrees. All right, guys, let's take a look at this thing. All right, first things first. Let's get some light on the subject there. All right, guys, let's explore this old mine. Okay, what are we gonna find in here? What we got? I thought it would go off to the right, but it didn't. I see some uh, uh, char marks on the back here probably from miners or explorers trying to chase out the bats. A little bit of smoke does that real well, but don't do that. It's not good for the bats. Okay, possibly one of our very first ore passes down here to the left. Okay, and continuing on, we've got a small, small ballroom here. Hmm, well, let's take a look, closer look at what they're mining. All right, look out there on that uh, kind of a pillar looking thing. It's all brecciated within this uh, dolomite limestone. So it's a, a brecciated matrix of something, kind of grayish, bluish in color. Must be low grade through here, otherwise they would have clean that out and oh boy look here yeah we're not gonna <laughs> so the mine continued off that direction and then bangity boo they just dropped straight down it's about a oh 10 foot drop down there thing is looks like it doesn't go any place pipe possibly could go down there and around the corner yeah, um, maybe something going off that direction, but uh, darn, I'm not gonna be able to get any further here. Not unless you were to repel that. 
and the mine continues off that direction. Hmm. 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 Well, shoot. So that means all of this is going down to that haulage at it, lower on the hill. So I would almost bet that once we get into that, we'll be able to look up at that area. Let's look over here. What do we have over here? Anything? No, not really. Maybe another ore pass over there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, can't go any further in this one. Can't get over to that other drift. So, um, oh, wait a second here. Wait a second here. Uh, what's this? Let's look at this. Okay, that's where we just came from. Let's look over here. I didn't see this. Will that allow us to get down there? No. Or pass. This is what I predicted, headed down into, into the haulage at it. Okay, turning around. We got round nails all over the place. I think we're probably in the 40s, maybe 50s. And back out to the portal. So short and sweet, guys. Um, yeah, let me uh, head back down the hill. We'll go to that haulage at it and see what's up in there. See you down there. Okay, guys, here we are. Boy, walking up and down these scree piles. Oh, it's hard on the legs. If any one of you in the audience is a, uh, an engineer, please invent me the uh, Marty McFly hoverboard, would you? Please, and it doesn't need to be very big. I could sure use one of them. Here we are. Yeah, uh, this is gonna be real interesting. Kind of a tight squeeze to get into this one gonna have to move a few things kind of like that stick and that and that and that let's see anything else throw a few rocks down in there I'm gonna have to go feet first and I don't wanna get bit by a rattlesnake. I don't hear anything yet. Should be good to go. All right. That's to let everybody know that this is the one I went into. And this is to let any aircraft know. They're looking for me at night. All right. <laughs> hmm. Gosh, I'm going to have to take... Well, hold on a second. Oh, that's just too darn skinny for my backpack. Going to have to take it off. That's all there is to it. Yeah. I have to leave it here. All right, here we go. situation there. Well, the nice thing about this one being obscured like it is, probably not too many people have been in here. It's not for a while anyways. Right about now is the time when you're most vulnerable. There's a rattlesnake right here. I'm stuck between him and this scree pile. Okay, give me a second, guys. All right. 
Come on, get on your feet. There we go. And there we are. Okay, let me straighten things out a bit before we get going any further. <sighs> yeah, give me a second guys. I'm gonna catch my breath. I'll be right back. All right, that's better. Glycoolness, AKA Huffer and Puffer is ready to get to work. Here is the door that used to be here. On the front of that portal, anything hiding underneath there? Doesn't look like it. Nope. That was the door. We've got uh, drift going off to the right. And we'll come back and explore that on the way back out. Okay, here we go. Let's have some fun. Yeah, short little exploratory going off that direction. We'll explore that. I don't think it goes anywhere, but we'll look on the way back out. Okay, looking up in front of us, seeing if we got any critters, skunks, whatever, nothing. Okay, looking up, we've got our first ore pass here. Right about now we're, oh, not quite halfway between the portal entrance and where we explored up on the hill. What is that? Never heard of that before. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Cactus, oh, and help. <laughs> Cactus cooler, orange pineapple blast. How old is that thing? Uh, February, oh, 1990. Yeah, that makes sense. It would take about that many years for that much erosion to occur at the portal. It's probably open at one time. Oh, nice. Look at the uh, slick and slide here. Look at that. So when the mountains were uplifting, look at how that rock just got dragged right, right across that. Made them scour marks. You got scouring. Now because limestone is so soft, you'll get those scour marks. Just like, you know, the same kind of marks you'd get uh, from Oh, well, if you would be another example. Like when the glaciers came down from Canada and scoured all of the, um, all, all of the rock. Mm -hmm. You get those lines. All right, here is another ore chute. Yep, we got an ore chute. Mm -hmm. Right here. And with a big pile that's come down from it out the ears. Let's get past that. There we go. Another ore chute. Another big pile. Let's look at this one. What do you look like? Yeah, the ends are cut with a saw. They're not hatcheted. Mm -mm. Or a couple of the necks. All right. Geology's looking good. Nice and stable. Yeah. All right, what do we have here? Ah, a little drift going off that way. I don't think it goes anywhere. Again, we'll look on the way back. <sighs> look at all these collapsed ore chutes. One after another after another. Yeah, we're definitely in the main haulage at it. Well, the nice thing is, is that when you're working your way 
past a collapsed door chute. Um, usually, well, it's just about time I say this, that's when that big boulder comes down. Uh, usually no more is gonna come down and once it reaches, that conical pile reaches the chute. Okay, stop here. Another one going that way. But we certainly have a lot to explore on the way back, don't we? Well, let's keep stay on the main. Another one. What's that up there? I see something up in there. It's kind of odd looking. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. Yeah, I had to throw something in here just to give you a little bit of a spook. It's Halloween weekend. Hey, had to have a little bit of fun. Okay, let's continue on. Another, another ore shoot. Ouch, oh, that's rough on the knees. Oh, ouch. I just pulled a love handle muscle. <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta tell you, it's hell getting old. <sighs> How deep is this thing gonna go in this mountain? Wow. Another one going off that direction. With another big ore chute right here. Okay, guys, let me take, take a moment here. Crawling over these darn collapsed door chutes and oh, pulling my love handle muscle and make me a little bit winded, so I'm gonna take a break. All right, that's better. Now, right about now, we should be directly underneath those workings um, that we explored earlier. I want to turn around here for a second and show you guys something. If you look out there, way out there, and you see it, I mean, if I turn these lights off, you can barely make out the sunshine from the portal popping through from this point. We're about 200 feet in we've got something here with an arrow over there pointing down we'll come back and look at that and uh, something on the ground here looks like it could have been left over from either a, a head frame or a windlass from something not sure okay another one here we go again All right, look, look above me here. Look at that mess. Oh, it's all dynamite boxes too, crisscross, crisscross like a game of Jenga. Yeah, they were trying to hold back the rock because they worked that area. All right, let's move our way down the side of this. Maybe we can pull the other love handle muscle and kind of even them out, you know? There we go. Nice big area. All right, let's take a moment, look around here a second. Whoa, there's something you definitely don't want to fall into. Uh-uh. Holy mackerel. Okay. Let's look down this. Winds. Yeah, that's a winds for sure. It looks like it drifts off left and right too. Oh, I don't see any stranded uh, explorers down there. I do see a brown bat over there in the wall. 
Okay, again. We got one off to the left over there. And continuing straight. Let's keep going. Carbide 10. Oh yeah, see, now we're getting into the now we're getting into the stopes and whatnot and what they're mining. It's just kind of spread out all over the place. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. This was all the telltale signs of a zinc mine. That's what it looks like to me. Because I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing any galena. I'm not seeing any blue colored copper minerals. No azurite. No chalcanthite. No Crisca Cola. Just a whole lot of gray material banding throughout all of this dolomite limestone. Yeah. And I think this is as far as we're gonna go. Right here. Yeah, that's it. It's pinched off right there. It's probably an ore chute, and that's completely collapsed. That one, that one pinched it off. Okay, turn it around. Let's explore some of these things we found on the way in. Come on now. There you go. That's why you wear a helmet. Okay. Oh, I just hate being stooped over. Okay. Let's get a closer look at this. Got some moisture coming in here. It doesn't go anywhere though. Stops right up there. Turn it around. Yeah, it got real musty there for a second. Alright. Alright, there's a look at the vein. I'm gonna set the let me look here. Maybe I can set the camera down kind of like that. And we'll angle things up a bit. Now, this isn't really what you would call a vein because these are lensed ore bodies. Lensed meaning that they're shaped like this. So you may have one in this part of the hill, you got another one in this part of the hill, etc., etc. Um, and uh, but here it is, right between here and here, roughly. Yeah, you can see it running right here at about a 45 degree dip. And if this was a vein running from the portal all the way into the mountain, hypothetically, okay, and then that would be the strike. So that's what miners would do when they started going into a vein. They're following the strike, and then the angle of it is the dip. I'm just trying to get you up to date on some mining terminology here, okay? And I believe that this side of the hill, from what I can see outside, is a syncline, okay? When, when mountains uplift like this and go up and the layers are running like this, okay, that's an anticline, okay? When the mountains compress and you get the folding down on the bottom and the fold goes down like this, okay, and eventually comes back up and you hit these layers, that's why a lot of times they're dropping uh, incline shafts down into the, into the vein or the ore body of a syncline. So, 
um, synclines are a, a lot related to incline shafts. I believe that this area is a syncline. Um, okay, that's what we got going on here. Let's keep exploring. All right, here we go. Back up and over. Oh boy, <laughs> gee whiz. Yeah, I don't want that coming down on my head. Uh-uh. Let's get out of there. And just my luck, I get a bunch of rocks in my glove. There we go. Wardrobe malfunction. All right, where's another one we haven't explored? This one. This one here with the arrow. Why did they paint an arrow? Well, nothing. Nothing, honey. All right, heading back, looking for the next area. Nope, that wasn't anything. It was here. Yeah. What's up in here? So, nothing going that way. So yesterday, I spent 14 hours and got up and out of there at 6 a.m. And I wasn't back to base camp till about 7 or 8 o'clock. I spent all day going from location to location and everything was bat barred gated, you name it. I mean, they, the authorities dumped a ton of money into that area. And, uh, and they didn't just, they didn't just uh, build simple uh, gates over the mines and the shafts. They built these Massive monstrosity structures. I mean, boy, you'd certainly want to be the guy that got that contract. Wow. Talk about overkill. But anyways, to get to my point, um, I'm just taking a break here. Uh, my point is, is that there's uh, some areas of Southern California that have just become way, 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 way too difficult to explore and to search for and explore abandoned mines. So uh, after a day like yesterday, I just threw my hands up and we're in a completely other different, <coughs> different area this weekend. Um, and uh, amazingly enough, look at that. I mean, all these mines are open. So it kind of gives you an idea of, of the various budget. Like one state has this giant amount of money to dump into abandoned mine closure. Other states are like, mm, nah, not so much, or it's not high on the agenda. So I've been doing this now on YouTube for four years, and I've seen all of these, you know, like fluctuations depending on where you go. It's uh, been interesting to watch, but uh, uh, they're still going out of their way to close and shut down abandoned mines. But they're still maintaining to their priority mines, which are those located near population centers, as well as... Uh, popular off-road trails and things of that nature. Those are the ones that they're focusing on. But the ones that are way, way, way back in the middle of nowhere, like the one we're doing right now, which took me, um, what, six hours to get here? Slow rock crawling all the way. These ones are on the uh, on the back, back, back bench, so to speak. 
you're not too concerned about these ones because they're so darn hard to get to. All right, I feel rested now. Let's get back at it. Yeah, I'm still kind of working my way back. Ouch. After taking a vacation, it's made me a little soft. <laughs> Oh, another thing I did on my vacation is I ate too much. So the 10 pounds that I lost, I gained right back. All right, here's one. We haven't explored this one. Let's look up here. What is that thumping noise? Oh, that's weird. That's gotta be a jet. There's a jet flying over outside and the, it's reverbing through the mine. I've heard that once before. From Northern California where a 5.1 magnitude earthquake has hit about 12 miles east of San Jose. The U.S. Geological Survey says the shaker hit at 11.42 a.m. The quake was followed by a 3.1 magnitude aftershock. This is according to the USGS. Right now there are no reports of any major damage or injuries. We'll bring you updates on this breaking story as they become available. Oh, we got a little bit of limonite here. See that? I got a bunch of iron within the top or the crest of that structure. But that's as far as that one goes. Okay. Yeah, these old mines can make weird noises. Sometimes you'll get what's called a, well, at least what I call, a ghost echo. Uh, ghost echo uh, kind of sounds like, uh, no, not like that. <laughs> a go oh, come on now. A ghost echo sounds like there's somebody behind you. What it is is the, the sound waves that you're making are bouncing back and forth through the mine, making it sound that way. All right, let's go this way. We didn't do this one yet. You know, a lot of times in the comment section, you guys have told me that you've seen faces in the rocks. There's a name for that that's not popping out right now. Wait, I think I'm starting to see one. There's, where's one? There's a face right there. Yeah. Yeah, all you gotta do is look hard. You'll see one. <laughs> we're having some fun today, aren't we, guys? Heck yeah, that's what this is all about. <sighs> Half the fun of these exploring these abandoned, abandoned mines is not just exploring the mine, it's my stimulating and riveting dialogue, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, you do this long enough, you become a professional at talking to yourself too. Oh my gosh. Get me out of these collapsed door chutes. That's enough. Thought we had something. Thought I had something to the right, but no. I think that's it. Wasn't there one more up here? I think so. Let me set the camera down here for a second. Whoa! 
Whoa, look out. Hey, you stop that now. Don't be grabbing my ankles. Quit that. Okay, much better. I gotta watch out for the zombie hands trying to grab us in mine today. This is their weekend to play. Okay, yeah, we had this one here. That's right. Uh -huh. Where does this one go? This kind of bends off this direction. And bends around this direction. Oh, that's a bendy one. And stops right there. Boy. I think those miners were nipping on the sauce. They couldn't mine in a straight line. <laughs> no, what they're doing there is they're following the edge. Yep, following the edge of the ore body. Okay. That's why you'll get drifts that'll wind like that. All right, there's the portal, and we didn't do this one yet. And it just goes right up there and stops. Okay, well now. Boy, have a nice trip. I'll see you in the fall. Ow. I'm just having a hard day today, guys, and I don't know why. All right, well, I've got to skinny my way back up through that little tiny hole. So uh, I'll see you guys back outside. Unless, of course, a snake bites me on the, on the way out of here. Okay, I'll be back. All right, guys, back outside. Safe, sound, whew, and sweaty. Oh, goodness. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, I learned that uh, this blood pressure medication that I'm on, oh, it just makes you sweat profusely if you're doing any kind of activity. But it keeps my numbers where they need to be, so tit for tat. Guys, thanks a lot for coming along with me on today's explore. Next weekend, we're gonna hop over into the uh, canyon, just to the north of me right here, and see if we can get into that next mine uh, that I showed you on the drone with the real large waste rock pile off there in the distance. Hopefully it's not gated. Um, I'm gonna head there right now and take a look, but that's gonna have to do it for this week's episode. So yeah, again, thank you so much for coming along with me on today's Explore. I really appreciate it. And uh, once again, happy Halloween, everybody. That's right. Hey, you again. Now knock it off. Just quit it. Stop it. Happy Halloween, everybody. Take care now. Bye-bye.